arguably the most innovative genre in heavy metal today. Modern bands have become increasingly experimental, where even they can make sounds reminiscent to nails on a chalkboard sound appealing. Up and coming heavy hitters like Code Orange, Vane, and Turnstile pull their unpredictable sound from surprisingly various inspirations. For example, in Vane's and Code Orange's most recent outputs, I can hear elements of Dillinger, Escape Plan, Gojira, and Slipknot fused with the more traditional heavy hitting metallic punk sound that defines hardcore. And Knock Blues, based from Kentucky, are no different. Consisting of rhythm guitar and backing vocalist Cole Crutchfield, lead vocalist Brian Garris, lead guitar and backing vocalist Isaac Hale, bassist Kevin Otten, and drummer Kevin Paxson Kane, Knock Blues belong in the same conversation with the very best of contemporary hardcore. The group have carved a niche for themselves within this subgenre by being even heavier than the rest. Their 2016 debut album Laugh Tracks is a stellar record due to the sonically amplified riffage, even with Garrus barking like a dog at times. And while bands like Code of Orange and Bane aren't slouches when it comes to beastly riffs either, Knock Loose is comparatively less experimental and melodic which allows the band to focus purely on brutal death and thrash metal style riffs, all of which is evidence in Jackrabbit abundance on the band's newly released sophomore studio album, A Different Shade of Blue. A Different Shade of Blue is 12 tracks of pure hardcore guitar riffs, screaming, and pounding drumming that blissfully slaps me in the face. Make no mistake, the music is as intense as modern metal gets. Even before I was halfway through the album, I had goosebumps. F*** that R.L. Stein shit. The most surprising attribute in A Different Shade of Blue is the level of craftsmanship that went into making the LP. While yes, the album is a demolition man's choice music before he blows up his former home that the bank foreclosed on, A Different Shade of Blue has a lot of thoughtful technique behind it. More complicated guitar notes and instrumentals are crystal clear and can be heard whilst absorbing the rivet that pounds you like Thor's hammer in the ass. On the whole, A Different Shade of Blue is a terrific album and a great follow-up to Knock Loose's debut album and is arguably even better than that. I highly recommend you listen to it. Clearly, Knock Loose has what it takes to compete with the top dogs of this genre. Don't miss it. Fuck you!